Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am in a different spot of the garden. Uh, this is something that Chris and I kind of uh, came up with. Uh, I started off doing videos on my deck and then Chris from uh, Chris's Nest Perfume, <laughs> I get on camera and I get all forget names. Anyway, I'm going to link her channel down below. So then Chris got on and uh, she did a video in her in her in her garden uh, down by the pool and then she moved up onto her deck. So I've been moving around my garden as well and today I'm in a little corner of my yard where the deck is off here and these are kind of mature trees and then this is a little side gate so it's kind of like a little nook uh, in the corner of my garden and in front of me is a little garden shed that my husband keeps all his you know his tools in and his uh, lawnmower and stuff like that shovels and stuff like that so it's kind of like a little private nook uh, in my garden so i thought this is going to be perfect as you can see there's a little a uh, little side gate there and I have my Canadian flag flying over there so today I wanted to get on and actually um, oh and welcome guys welcome if you're if you're new here welcome my name is Francis and I've been around for a long long time I do different videos just depends what mood I'm in um, I do perfumes I do handbags I vlog I take you on trips to concerts, uh, to meet up with subscribers. I take you to Toronto. I take you uh, to, on road trips to Niagara Falls. So if you're new here, then, and you haven't subscribed, why don't you just subscribe? I never ask people to subscribe, but if you're interested in a variety of different things and not just perfume, then, hey, you know, uh, click that little subscribe button and um, and that little bell and it'll tell you when my videos are posted so anyway without further ado let's get on uh, first of all I wanted to just show you um, that I'm wearing Wendy's and I have her channel linked down below Wendy's earrings these are as light as a feather they are gorgeous I put them on today with a silver necklace and uh, I have my bracelets on my rings and uh, yeah I just thought it, it looked rather nice with a silver necklace that I've had for many years and I love her earrings as you can hear them jingling uh, anyway this this video is actually about the summer fragrances that I will always keep um, I was going to do a summer fragrance video anyway, but because my my collection uh, is, is actually down now because I've just kind of taken a few out of my, and I'll probably do a declutter video later, but I've taken a few out of my collection and I've set them aside. I'm going to let the girls go through them and if they want them, they can take them. But anyway, um, my collection's small, so maybe have about 36 fragrances. So like for me to do a summer fragrance review would be silly. Why don't I just give you pretty much 90% of the summer fragrances that I love and that I do use on a regular, every day, um, during the whole of the summer. And today I'm wearing still by JLo and it's one I just reach for randomly it's like it just I'm just drawn to it like a magnet thank you thank you a little bit of name dropping here Veronica from uh, Veronica says and um, yeah it's it's this little guy here he's under $20 in fact he's probably under $15 and I have been using it as you can see I go down my fragrances really fast because I don't have that many so yeah yeah and this one here is a definite keeper and I will get a, a backup of it at some point but I'm in no hurry I have lots that I'm enjoying this one 
you could wear, obviously I wear it in the summer, but I would wear this in the winter. I would wear it any time of the year. It's just like <clears throat> so Still by JLo has a very prominent tea note. Uh, it's got the Earl Grey tea right as you, as you spray it right off the bat. It's got that tea, it's got the pepper comes out and then it goes into a mandarin orange, which is, I love mandarin orange in a fragrance. It has apple, rice, I don't get rice. It's got jasmine, I don't get jasmine, uh, rose, um, then it has sandalwood, iris, and amber. Uh, those are basically the notes that are in it. It's very fresh, it's very um, refreshing, uh, and it doesn't last like a long time, but for the price, you can just spritz this on maybe every four hours, uh, spritz it on again, and it does dry down to a nice, um, nice skin scent. So yeah, that's that's the one I'm wearing today, and that is that that's a gem. It wasn't love at first sniff, but it was probably love after third or fourth wear, and now I adore it. So that's number one. And number two was also a gift, a little bit more uh, name uh, dropping. Um, Bougie uh, from Dawn from Bougie Fragrances uh, actually gifted this to me and it is Splendida Bulgari, Bulgari and it's Iris Dior. And this bottle was full when she sent it to me and I've been using this quite a lot. This is very predominantly Iris, very powdery, beautiful it's got also got a little bit of vi uh, violet in it as well which you can smell which really makes me love it even more because I love insolence and I love that violet smell but this one is is very f it's much fresher and not as sweet and I'll tell you what's in green notes right off the top it has mimosa bergamot violet leaf orris root sandalwood, tonka bean, and vetiver. This is so beautiful. You really get the powdery iris and the beautiful freshness of that violet. And then you've got that vanilla and kind of like the tonka bean sandalwood smell in it. And this is lovely. It lasts quite a while. It would last about five hours or so. And yeah, I'm so happy she sent this to me. Dawn said it smelled like pickles on her and I was hoping upon hope that I wouldn't get that pickle smell in my nose because you know people who suggest saying things smell like pee or poo or whatever right and then suddenly you smell and you go oh no I can smell it I don't get pickle in this one thank you Dawn I'm so happy I don't get pickle in this one and this will stay in my collection forever um, this is not cheap I looked it up and it's not cheap, so I'll have to save my pennies to buy another bottle of this one. So that's number two. Number three was also one sent to me, and my bad, because I can't remember who sent it to me. Uh, it was either, um, oh gosh, it was either Lala, and it's Oriental Cherry, or it was, um, and I'll link her channel down below. Her name has just gone out of my head. But it's Oriental Cherry and it's a dupe for Tom Ford. And this is beautiful all year round, but it is particularly nice in the summer. Uh, that fresh cherry is, is just absolutely stunning. It has a magnetic top on it. Um, this smells, and I had a sample of Lost Cherry. So this smells, I would say, uh, there's a big wasp, big bee. This smells at least 90% in my nose. Um, I don't have the most fabulous uh, fragrance nose, but to me and to a lot of other people who have talked about it, they do say it does smell a lot like Lost Cherry. And I will mention the longevity of this is much longer than Lost Cherry and it's around $40. Um, what I love about this is it tells you the notes right on the bottle. And the notes are cherry, almond, cinnamon, middle notes are cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. And then the base notes are Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. And just spray this one. You get the 
you get the, the cherry, the sour cherry. It's like maraschino cherries. The ones I buy in the United States, that's what it smells like. It doesn't smell like the maraschino cherries that you buy in Canada. So let me just be clear on that, ladies. If you're Canadian, this does not smell like the maraschino cherries you buy here. This smells like the maraschino cherries you buy in the US, in Walmart or Target or I buy mine in Walmart because they're cheaper. And I stock up, I usually buy about two cases, which is about 24 um, cases of cherries. And I use them for baking, I use them for eating, for iced tea. Uh, Nora just likes to have a bowl of cherries and she loves them. And this, that's what this smells like. It smells like maraschino cherries with that little hint of cinnamon, the cloves, the rose. It's so well blended, it's so affordable, and I will always have this in my collection because, and look what's left. I need to get another bottle, and of course, I can't get it in Canada, so I rely on my friends in the US to order it for me um, from Dossier and then send it to me. Dossier did reach out to me when they thought I was American, and then when they discovered I was Canadian, they said, my humble apologies, Francis, we can't send it to you as of yet. But as soon as they do, I'm getting a backup bottle of this. And they had planned on sending me some to try out. So yeah, that's going to stay in my collection for as long as they make it. And I'm saving myself three or $400 on uh, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So that's a winner to me. Um, these are in no particular order because I love them all. Now, this one, you know, is, it's a staple in my collection and, and it always will. It's just about finished, and, but I have a backup. <laughs> this is the EDT version and um, this is Hot Couture by Givenchy. This is a unique, um, almost niche uh, type fragrance and it has this um, spritz of uh, um, raspberries that come the EDT is a little bit sweeter less peppery so it comes out with raspberries uh, a little bit of pepper um, and it then it um, orange I believe a little bit of orange in it it has bergamot uh, vetiver uh, but this has and I don't know why it smells this way. Oh, and by the way, it was launched in 2020. So this has been around for quite a long time. Remember when I first smelt it, it kind of reminded me of um, a dusty attic, 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 you know, like your grandmother's dusty attic and like sprinkled with icing sugar or um, a cigarette ash in a, you know, which, you know, doesn't smell nice. But if you sprinkle that with um, with icing sugar, it has that dusty, smoky, sweet uh, icing sugar smell to it. And it and and I don't know where the smokiness comes from. Like, what's the ingredient in here? The pepper and the raspberry, the vetiver. I think there's sandalwood in it as well. Uh, I don't have the notes in front of me, but. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just that fragrance that is so unique. Uh, people don't know what you're wearing uh, if, they've never, if they've never got it. And this is a very affordable designer fragrance. I usually pick it up in one of the, um, you know, one of the sites or they have one in Toronto here and, and they sell it for under $50. So, and that is a, what size of bottle is that? Is that 100 ml? like a hundred mil uh, yeah it's just it's just got that lovely uh, just that that smell of, of a dusty attic and and, 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 and or cigarette uh, not the cigarette but you know that that disgusting smell but the cigarette when you flick that ash and then you just powder it with 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 sugar sugar you know dusty sugar it, it's just beautiful so I will always have that one and both my daughter-in-laws also wear that so we have to be mindful uh, if I'm going out with them I never wear this one I never wear this but I will wear this if I'm going to a concert or um, I think I wore this one when I met Richard at the the chicks concert I think I wore hot couture so yeah um, 
this one, he, he didn't know what it was, but as soon as I said raspberries, he said, I know what it is, it's hot couture. So um, yeah, next time I see him, hey Richard, next time I see you, I'm gonna bring you a little sample of this in. I have a full bottle, so no worries. Um, yeah, and when Lisa, maybe we'll go and check out Lisa's pop-up if it's open right now and uh, pick up a bottle because it is cheap, it's under 50 Canadian, so yeah. So that one will always be in my collection. So um, another one that's been around before I started my channel, and of course it is none other than Celine Dion Sensational. This is a fruity pear. This is a sweet candied pear, it's very sweet. It's very summery. It's very fresh out of the shower. It has pear, it has apple, it has plum, freesia, which I love the smell of freesia. It's so fresh, watery, and it's a watery, fresh. Oh, there's the cicadas. They're loud. Uh, it has a little bit of jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, mimosa, musk, and amber. Um, this is a gem. This is my last bottle. I had a little bit left in the square bottle, the 100 ml bottle, and I gave it to my sister because she is obsessed with it. So uh, this is my last bottle of it, and uh, Nora has a little mini of it. So I will keep an eye out for another one, but they are selling in the hundreds. This is a $20 cheap bottle of perfume that they're selling on the market now for two or three hundred dollars. So if you do see one and it's under 50, let me know because I will buy it. Uh, this is beautiful. Um, they describe it on um, Fragrantica as a, or uh, yeah, in the notes, a frozen pear. This does not smell like a frozen pear. What's a frozen, what's, what does anything frozen smell like? Maybe watery or icy, like cool. Um, but to me, it's, it smells like a um, candy pear, like sweet, but then in that freesia and the apple, um, and it, it just, it takes it to another level. I love it. It's just so, so, so pretty. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be a video without my Elizabethan rose. And I haven't actually reached a lot for this, this summer. Um, because I've been kind of obsessed with some of these other ones. I do love it though, don't get me wrong, and my sister actually loved it on me when I put it on. I'm going through it though, but I am saving it. Um, this is pure, fresh rose, walking through a rose garden. That's with a little hazelnut sweetness thrown in. And the notes in this one are hazelnut leaf, tangerine, almond, a little bit of cinnamon, may rose, rose oil, and rose, and then plum in the dry down. There's no vanilla, there's no vetiver, there's no, there's no, you know, typical thing, sandalwood, there's none of those in the dry down of this, which is typical of a lot of fragrances. But this one has plum in the dry down. This is a this is a gem. It may not be love at first sniff, but you will grow to love this one. I can guarantee that if you wear it enough, you will grow to adore and love it. And it's so unique. No one else smells like it. I go out and I can be confident that no one else here in Canada has this fragrance on. So it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Very elegant, um, very sophisticated and I just love it. I wouldn't wear this typically to a concert or anything like that, but I would wear it to a wedding or I would wear it to a garden party, you know, a nice garden party or, you know, a special occasion, family special occasion get together. Um, it's lovely outside because it, 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 it smells so amazing in the air. So yeah, that's Elizabethan Rose by Penhaligans. And uh, thank you, Abby, for putting me onto this one because if it weren't for you, this gem and while we're still on the theme of Penhaligans my next one is of course Artemisio by Penhaligans and this is just a fresh tea this one has a lot of tea in it 
but it's not like still by J Lo. It's it's not it's not a average run of the mill tea. Um, this one has um, nectarine on the top. It opens with nectarine, and then it has it's very green. Um, it has violet, vanilla, tea. It doesn't say what kind of tea, but it has tea, and I don't think it's an Earl Grey tea. It might be a maybe a green tea. Very green green tea, I would say, is what is in this one. Oh, it's just so good. It has jasmine, it has apple, musk, sandalwood, and amber doesn't last a long long time as you can see that's how much I have left so I will be purchasing another bottle of this but again these are expensive and I don't want to purchase it again until I'm close to the end just in case you can go off fragrances it's known to happen um, you know we can have the same fragrance over and over and over again and keep it in our collection for years that was it beautiful big bumblebee and it wants to come and join my smells it was beautiful oh he's smelling my perfumes <laughs> um, yeah you can go off them so you know because we have so many um, I find that um, you can go off them if you only have one or two perfumes you you tend to um, stick with them and enjoy them but when you have a variety of different ones you know you sometimes set one aside and then when you go back to it you're not so keen on it but this is a gem i'm still in, very much in love with it and i will purchase another bottle when i get down to near the end all right so um i have one two three four more this is going to be a long video guys i'm sorry i'm sorry cheapy but a goodie and it wouldn't be a video of mine without sophia uh, maria colette uh, loves this and I'm pretty sure it was Maria that got me on this one because I was not enjoying Coco Mademoiselle and I did send that one off to uh, Claire Smith and I'm hoping that she's loving it um, because I adored it that was my second bottle that I sent to her and it still had like it still had about about up to there so it probably had a, still a third in it um, of, of perfume but I was not loving it and None of my kids liked it, the girls didn't like it, and I thought I'm gonna send this to someone who would appreciate it. So anyway, so I opt for Sophia by Sophia Vergaro. And this is just a sweeter, more easy, um, not as sophisticated fragrance, uh, Coco Mademoiselle. But it ha doesn't have any of the same notes. This one opens with blackberries, plum, currant buds, then it dries into a um, orchid, rose, and violet in the middle notes. Then it's got woody notes, vanilla, and sandalwood on the dry down. And yes, this is a gem. It's very, f mostly fruity with a hint of orchid and rose and violet. I don't think I can smell violet in it. It's just beautiful. Oh gosh, it's just a gem absolute gem and that is Sophia by Sophia Bergera. and the next one I'm going to talk about is terracotta terracotta by Guerlain and this is called a limited edition um, it's hard to find in the United States it's very readily available here at Shoppers Drug Mart for under $100 this is a hundred mil bottle uh, the bottle is nothing to write home about it's got a like a plastic sticker here plastic lid but it is a nice spray <sighs> and terracotta opens with an amazing tier flower um, tier flower smells a lot like frangipani so it's easy to mix them up it's very tropical you'll find it in you know in the tropical islands um, it reminds me of cuba it's got that uh, coconut uh, as well then it's got some bergamot jasmine vanilla and musk so it's a very fresh quite it's sweet but it's fresh so it's not cloyingly sweet obviously for the summer it couldn't be 
it's got the tiere flower does smell fresh and sweet at the same time and then the coconut has that creaminess and the um, and the bergamot and then a little bit of jasmine which I actually don't smell and the vanilla and the musk dry down uh, dries it down to a very creamy soft sweet smell it's a gem it it can get a little bit too much if you put too much of it on, I think, because the tiere flower is very potent. Um, and you'll smell them all over the gardens in Cuba. I used to put them in my, the frangipanis or the tiere flower, I'm not sure which one it was, but we used to, the gardener used to bring them up onto our, um, onto our, our patio. We had like little walkout patios and we were facing the beach. We had little, we were sitting in little bungalows. We had our own little bungalows, my girlfriend and I, she had her little bungalow next to me and I had mine. And um, I mean, it was in a resort, but you had that and you had your own little fridge and you had, you know, your own little, it was like, it was like a little cabin and we absolutely adored it. So, um, and we would sit out on the porch in the morning when we'd get out and come outside to have our coffee um, and we brought our own coffee machines and uh, we would sit out there and sure enough the gardener would have come up and left a uh, little glass with a um, frangipani or a um, or a tiere flower in a glass and then I would put it in my hair of course we were giving him stuff like we were giving him tips and um, I brought him down gloves and gardening tools and uh, gardening gloves and socks and things like that because he was just an amazing gardener the gardens were beautiful so that's what that this reminds me of and uh, I just love it it's just a gem so yeah perfumes really do bring up memories and I didn't own this when I went to Cuba but that that's I would take it with me if I go back down again I'm hoping to go back down again so I would take this with me and I absolutely adore it so. another one that has similar vibes to that but it to me, it's nothing like it. And it's Serge Laton's De Tour Noir. And look at how much I've used in this already. Uh, this was recommended to me um, by, um, by Chantel, uh, Tiffany. And uh, I immediately opened it up and I could smell watery daffodils. There's no daffodils in it that's what it reminded me of my youth. My mom had lots of tulips, daffodils, carnations, uh, and they all, back in those days, we're talking about 60 years ago, they all had a very strong smell. The flowers today almost have been bred without a smell. And in those days, carnation had a strong cinnamony smell. Um, Daffodils had a watery, almost like a buttercup. Um, I can't describe it, but yeah, daffodils don't smell like that now, but they did back then. And this reminds me of daffodils in my mom's garden. Obviously, there is. It's it's got the detour uh, flower, which is poisonous. I don't know what that smells like. So maybe it smells like like daffodils. The notes in this are quite different than uh, terracotta because uh, terracotta opens with um, with the tiere flower. This opens with tuberose. So right off the bat, it, it is, but it's not your average like clawing tuberose. It's very soft. It's not tuberose can be really like it can be really icky if that's even an expression to use. But this one blends in beautifully with the almond and the coconut. Then it's got heliotrope and vanilla. Those are in the top notes. Then it's got the Chinese asmanthus, tonka bean and lemon blossoms. Now lemon blossoms maybe smell kind of fresh and watery. Chasey, Chinese amanthus, I'm not sure what that smells like. And then it dries down to a musk, uh, musk note mirror myrrh as in a spice, apricot and mandarin orange. Um, so it's it's not the same like I mean you could honestly own terracotta and you could own this and they're very different but they have a slight because of the coconut and the beachy kind of vibe 
um, but this one is a little bit fresher because it's a little bit more watery in my opinion so that one now let me see last but not least <laughs> and certainly not least and it's insulin spike alarm and this is the EDT that I searched for um, because this is the one of the original formulas um, I have the EDP um, but I I really like the EDT better I mean there's very little difference to be quite honest there is so little difference this is pure violets these are parma violets Parmaviolets from our childhood when we used to eat those sweets when, you know back in the day your mom would give you some money and uh, you would run to the shops and you would buy these little like it came in like a little um, almost like um, like a little roll like they were rolled up in these tiny little purple purple sweets and that's what this smells like it smells like the taste of, of of Parma violets. Look them up. Look them up on the internet. In um, insulins are violet right off the top. Then it's got raspberry. This has more raspberry uh, smell to it, so it blends in nicely with the violet. It has red berries as well. It has bergamot, lemon, orange blossoms, iris, and sandalwood and musk. So it's, um, some people say it's kind of like an old woman smell to it, but I mean, I, I beg to differ. Um, I've smelt it on young people and it smells really, really pretty. Um, and uh, I think it's a unique, lovely fragrance. I don't think the formula has changed since it went into the bee bottle. But yeah, this, um, this one for sure is, is a keeper and it was a Smurfy Girly that got me on to this one and her name is Claire. Um, she talked about this when I first started uh, my journey with fragrances and she talked about this one and I blind bought, bought the original EDP and then um, I wanted to own the EDT as well. So I mean, it's not necessary to own both really isn't um, I just and the longevity is the same uh, it lasts exactly the same length of time so you could buy either of them and I think the bee bottle is really pretty and I don't think the smell has the formula has changed that much at all so yeah that's not last because there's another one to come hang on a sec I forgot all about it and it is none other than Lalique Solel and I can tell you that when I bought this I picked it up for $45 it was at the beginning of the pandemic it was in the fall and I picked it uh, I, I blind bought it like I did so many of these I think let me see um, these are all blind buys with the exception of the Celine Dion one the rest of them are all blind buys yeah, no, they're not blind buys, that's a lie. Uh, Elizabethan Rose, I got a sample from Abby, and Artemisia was a sample from Abby, um, and I didn't have a sample of any of the others. I just blind, just blind bought them. So this one um, is very, opens up with mandarin orange didn't I couldn't smell the mandarin orange when I first got it in the fall and I put it away and I thought I can't get rid of it because the bottle is so pretty and um, I just thought it was just average it was just like a fruity kind of smell it had nothing exciting about it I love that jingle and then I went in earlier this summer maybe at the end of the spring and I brought it out and I sprayed it and I thought oh the fresh mandarin orange I think they do get better with age by the way uh, it was just unbelievable. So the notes in this one are It opens with a sweet mandarin orange then it has almond Cardamom there is a hint of cardamom in it. Let's just spray it over on this arm Yeah mandarin orange almond a little bit of cardamom that dries down and um, then it's got a little bit of uh, 
pear, caramel, coffee, jasmine, and praline. I think there is coconut in this as well. I don't have that in my notes, but I don't smell coconut, so maybe there's no coconut in it. It dries down to a, just a lovely, lovely, uh, fresh, summery, fruity fragrance. <clears throat> there's no, um, there's no floral in it at all. And you can smell the pear a little bit as well, but yeah, um, I'm actually really enjoying this one now and I'm so glad, I'm so glad I didn't part with it. Um, I'm really glad because I almost decluttered it but I kept it because of the bottle and now I love it. So, so we have come to the end of my collection and I think we had 12 fragrances. We had 12 fragrances that I'm loving, almost all of them uh, on the same level uh, with different meanings and to wear at different times. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and uh, yeah, if you have any questions about any of the fragrances, I will uh, link down below some of the ladies that I talk about. Go and watch their videos. They are absolutely fabulous. They are experts on perfumes, whereas I am not. Um, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. And I know what gives me lovely memories. And uh, a lot of these have, are very dear to my heart. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you on the next video. And I'm just enjoying a beautiful day here in Canada, just outside of Toronto. Um, the weather is beautiful. It's, it's not humid today. We reached about 40 degrees, which is probably over 100 down in the United States. But here we reached uh, about 40, and today it's about 28 and no humidity. And sitting in the shade here in the corner of my garden, it's so quiet, um, other than the than the bees and the butterflies and the flies and the cicadas. It's quiet. I can hear my air conditioner going in the background, but it's absolutely peaceful and beautiful. This is my happy place. Summer is my happy, happy time and I'm going to be sad when it comes to fall. I'm not a fall lover. Um, it's, it's just not it's just not a fun time for me because I know winter's next and so I don't like winter I just don't I want to win the lottery and move to Florida <laughs> in the winter um, but thanks again everybody for hanging in there and for following me and showing me so much love you know I appreciate you from my heart so take care and don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle <laughs>